Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. Today I wanted to do a short tag video. Um, this is one of the tags that I really enjoy watching the most. Book buying habits tag. I don't really do tag videos that often, but I find that they are quite interesting in sort of giving you an insight into um, all of the things around, surrounding our reading of books and all of the things that you don't necessarily see in like wrap ups and things. Uh, anyway, without further ramblings, the first question is where do you buy your books from? Um, I buy the majority of the books I buy uh, online just because I live in Sweden and the regular bookstores have very limited uh, amount of English books. Most of the books that I am interested in don't necessarily, uh, are not necessarily stocked in my uh, uh, local uh, regular bookstores or book chains. Most of my new books I buy online uh, from a local uh, bookstore chain. A big chunk of the books that I buy are also from local secondhand stores. I do buy a lot of uh, secondhand books and clothes and things like that. Um, I really love buying a thrifting. The second question is do you ever pre-order books and if so do you do this in store or online? So obviously for me that would be online. Uh, I usually don't pre-order books mostly because I don't tend to buy or to read the books immediately after I have bought them or they've come to me. Recently pre-ordered or last year uh, was The American Wolf uh, by Nate Blakesley and that is one of the books that I actually ended up reading I think in February, um, so obviously I didn't read it last year, um, so I guess pre-ordering for me is sort of pointless because I don't get to them immediately. If it is a book that I am interested in, usually I would want to uh, sort of hear some people's thoughts before I buy, the, buy it, uh, especially with hardcover. Uh, on average, how many books do you buy a month? Uh, I would say that probably about 10. Um, at least this year it has been about 10. Some of these are new books um, bought online and some of them are secondhand. So when I buy a secondhand I usually tend to buy a few more uh, in a month. And uh, usually I go at least once, uh, once a month to a local thrift store. So I end up buying more. But if I only buy new books then it is probably maximum four books. The fourth question is do you use your local library? As if you've been on this channel for a while you will know that I use my local library. Um, I just recently mentioned in the currently reading video um, that I have two books off from the library. I, I've uh, done library hauls in the past. Uh, I love using my local library and I, I sort of go through phases of using it a lot. Um, just because I also want to try reading my own books so sometimes I will use it um, in, in a period quite a lot and then sort of take a break from it a few weeks or months. Um, I've been sort of taking a break from the library over the winter until recently uh, for much Mystery Madness I started using the library again. Fifth question is what is your opinion on library books? I love them. Um, I, I, I know that some people don't really like um, the sort of the fact that pe other people use the books. Um, I like that. I like the smell of library books. I know that might be weird for some people, but I love the smell of all kinds of books. Um, I love uh, the library books that have um, yellowed pages because they've been around for a while. Um, I love the fact that I can take chances with uh, library books and get books that I've never heard of. The only thing that I don't like about library books, which is something I actually mentioned in my goals video, is that I can't annotate in library books and that has sort of uh, forced me to um, to readapt to the way I use the library and what kinds of books I get out from the library. The sixth question is how do you feel about secondhand books? And that is another thing I already sort of touched on. Uh, I love secondhand books. Um, I love finding books that people have uh, written marginalia in. I love finding sort of dedications to people in the, the, the sort of the front page of the book. I love vintage books. I actually sort of collect uh, vintage editions of books. Um, although not, I don't collect vintage books uh, that I'm not interested in reading. I only buy books that I am interested in reading and if they are vintage or a special edition that's 
a really fun thing. I love secondhand books in general because again they are cheap and you might stumble upon something uh, really interesting and I love it. The seventh question is, do you keep your TBR pile on your main shelves or not? Um, so I keep my TBR uh, on the the shelf that you can see at the moment um, that I used to film in front of um, and this uh, shelf behind me is also a TBR shelf and then this shelf is the uh, the red shelf so I have two entire bookshelves filled with uh, unread books and one filled with read books. I get rid of a lot of books that I have read and that I don't want to keep. Um, so I, I only keep books that I have either loved or really liked or would uh, like to reread someday or books that I have just engaged with so much that I have either have a lot of annotation in, in, annotations in them or that I just feel like I'm not done with. Uh, even if it's a book that I didn't love, um, if I just feel like I got something from it uh, and I want to continue working my way through the, whatever that is. I had to continue filming a little bit later because my battery died. The ninth question is, do you plan to read all of the books that you own? As I mentioned earlier, I do plan to read all of the books that I own. Um, I don't keep books that I'm not interested in anymore. I don't uh, collect books just for the sake of collecting them. So I know some people collect uh, rare books or signed books or vintage books, whatever the case that makes them special. Um, I don't keep any such books. If I have it, I want to read it. Um, and yeah, that leads on to the next question, which is um, what do you do with the books that you own that you feel you will never read? Um, or that you did not enjoy. I get rid of them constantly. I uh, Most of the time I donate the books that I'm not interested in anymore. I donate them to my local thrift stores. There is a lot of them and I go to uh, two uh, local thrift stores very regularly. So I dump a lot of books there um, and I feel like that allows me to support them in a way and to keep them sort of um, to keep them active, which um, makes me happy because I really love going there. Uh, so uh, I like to do something to sort of support them. Sometimes I will give them to friends and family. Eleventh question is, have you ever donated books? And as I said, I do it constantly. I have been doing it for uh, a few years now. Um, basically since I started buying as many books as I do now, um, I started also donating books because the reason I increased the amount of books I buy so much is because I go to local thrift stores and when I go to local thrift stores I have the perfect opportunity to uh, donate as well. You don't usually get airplane sounds in my videos. But I do live close to an uh, airport. The twelfth question is, have you ever been on a book buying ban? Uh, I have tried book buying bans in the past and I think, um, first of all, they don't work for me because I immediately want to break rules as soon as I put them, um, as soon as I put any restrictions or uh, rules especially to do with my buying. Uh, I end up wanting to break them and usually I break them by buying more than I would have if I didn't have any ban. Um, just in general, I feel like my buying and uh, my habits are more uh, easily uh, changed and uh, regulated through n uh, necessity. So if I don't have money to spend on books, then I don't spend money on books. Next question is actually about that as well. Do you feel that you buy too many books? I don't have a problem with the spending itself or with the amount of, of books I have itself. The problem I have is the disconnect between the reading of books and the buying of books or the acquiring of books. I want there to be a balance between the two and that is what I'm sort of actively striving towards at the moment. I've been trying to lower my book buying so that it is more um, 
similar to my, my reading pace. They are not uh, equal at the moment, um, but I would like to get there sort of as a year goal. I would like to either read more or buy less. So those are the last question of the book buying tag. Uh, and I hope you found this slightly interesting. Um, hope you're having a really good day and I will talk to you soon.